So again, we'll have a few bars today. Um, this skill is probably the easiest skill of this unit. Um, so we will breeze through it. So these are the rules up here, and we can perform it as long as they have the same base. Okay, remember A here is our base. So as long as that's the same value, then we can perform this rule. Um, so we have log A plus log, or log M plus log N. It's log M times N. Log M take log N. Okay, M is at the top, N is at the bottom. And then we have this rule as well, that we have N log M, we can express it as log of M to the power of N. Now I just want to point this rule out because a couple of people make this um, error. That log 2 divided by log 10 is not equal to log 2 on 10. Okay? What we've seen from our rules is log 2 on 10 is equal to log 2 take log 10. All right? This here is an application of this rule. Log A, log M take log N, log M on N, log 2 take log 10, log of 2 on 10. Okay? So don't get, don't get that confused. This actually equals what we have here. So let's get straight into it. We've got um, write as a single logarithm, or if you can, an integer. That just means a whole number. So we've got log 25 plus log 4. That's going to be log of 25 times 4, which is log of 100. Okay, so we've written it as a single logarithm, but we can actually simplify this because it's in base 10. We know it's log of 10 to the power of 2, and we know that simplifies to be 2. Okay, log in base 3 of 28. So we're going to have 28 divided by 4. They both have the same base, so we can perform that operation. 28 divided by 4 is log uh, in base 3 of 7, and we can't simplify it any further. All right? 7 is not a power of 3. Okay, down here, before we can collect these, we need to get rid of these numbers out the front. All right? Um, so before we can perform any operation, we see up here there's no numbers out the front. So we need to get rid of them. And the way we're going to do that is, is power rule. Okay, we can move that number and make it a power. So we're going to have log of 2 to the power of 3 plus, plus log of 3 to the power of 2. Okay, so this number out the front is becoming a power. We're just moving it up. 2 log 3 becomes log of 3 squared. Let's simplify those, so we'll have log of 8 plus log of 9. Alright, they're both in base 10, so now we can collect them. We'll have log of 8 times 9, log of 72. And we can't simplify it any further. Okay, log in base 2 of 5 plus 3. It wants us to write it as a single logarithm. Now I'm going to show you the first step. I'm not going to try and explain how I get up. I'm going to show you it and then work backwards to, to link, make the connection. So this is what it is. Okay. Log in base 2 of 2 to the power of 3 equals 3. So that's one way we can express this number as a logarithm in base 2. It's just log in base 2 of 2 to the power of 3. Alright, so when we're given a number, we just make it a logarithm of the same base and 2 that power. So then what we're going to have is log in base 2 of 5 plus log in base 2 of 8. Okay, now they have the same base and we can perform our very first rule here. That's log in base 2 of 5 times 8. That's log in base 2 of 40. Okay, we'll express it as a single log. Okay. Where did you get the 2 from? Uh, the, the base is 2, so that means we want to express this one as a logarithm with a base of 2. But why is it 2 to the power of 3 then? Yep, so our rule is if we have log in base a of a to the x, that equals x. Um, so what we need to do is we need to express, this is the base, so that's going to be the, the, um, the base here, and so the power is just whatever that number is. So. Yeah, these ones are tricky. I can do another example of that if we want. Do you want to do another one? Uh, yeah. Yep. So let's do, um, let's say we've got log of 4 plus 2. All right. So my question is here, what is the base? One. What, uh, if, if we're not told a base, it's 10. Okay. Remember, if we're not told a base, it's 10. So that means we need to express this as a logarithm with a base of 10. So we're going to have log of 4 plus log of 10 to the power of 2. 
Okay, because we know that log of 10 to the power of 2 simplifies to be 2. So rather than simplifying it, we're going back the other way and expressing it as a logarithm. So then we'd have log of 4 plus log of 100 and log of 400. Alright, 4 times 100, log of 400. Alright, so that can be example B. E. Alright, so you, I'll, I'll leave them to, I'll let you have a bit of a tackle of it. Let's move on to 2 here. We've got simplify log in base 3 to the power of 9 divided by log in base 3 of 81. So what I want to point out to you here is um, log in base 3 of 9, we can express that as 3 to the power of 2. And log in base 3 of 81, we can express as 3 to the power of 4. Okay? Then, using this rule here, we can move the power out the front. So this becomes 2 log in base 3 of 3 on top of 4 log in base 3 of 3. Alright, so all I've done there, here we've expressed 9 as 3 squared, 81 as 3 to the power of 4. And then our rule is if we have a power, we can move that power to the front. So we move that 2, that goes there. That four, that's come out the front here. Now, Brad, you should listen. Yep. Now we have the same factor at the top and the bottom. See how we've got log in base three on three and log in base three on three. That can just cancel. And so we're left with two on four, which is just a half, or 0 0.5. Okay, last one. Show that log in log of one on twenty-five equals minus two log five. So now we're getting into some proofs. Um, so the way we're going to do it, there's a couple of ways, but we're, we're just going to start with what's called the left-hand side. And the left-hand side is what we've got written here. That's log of 1 on 25. And we're going to say that equals log of um, 1 on 5 squared. All right? Which is log of 5 to the minus 2. All right? Which is minus 2 log 5. Okay, we can bring that power out the front. Minus 2 log 5, which is the right hand side. So we've started with the left hand side, and we've simplified it, simplified it, simplified it, and we've got what they wanted us to show that it's equal to. Okay, so uh, where in the book are we up to? So that'll be uh, question. Yep, 16, 17. Yeah, question 16 and 17. And you can go back and do question 10 and 11, okay? So 10, 11, 16, 17. I'm showing you the skills to do 10 and 11 today. So we've got question 10, 11, 16.